The second model we are going to discuss about is the undulating periodization model. From the term undulating, we know that the sets and reps or the scheme which we are uh, putting in the face will be changing. That's the meaning of undulation. It is divided in two types, daily undulating periodization or uh, weekly undulating periodization. The difference between weekly and daily is the ability trained is changed every day in daily undulating whereas you know, compared to the weekly undulating the physical ability trained are changed every week or bi-weekly. See the goal here is based on the physical ability and the demand of the training. If the goal calls only for power and strength you don't need to have hypertrophy or uh, endurance during this undulating model. The sample would be 4 into 3 on day 1 which is focused on power and 5 into 4 which is focused on strength on day 2 and finally endurance day that is 3 into 10 on day 3. This can be divided into AV, light and medium days. See this is not a set protocol that is you should follow power, strength or endurance but this is very optimal. If you turn a power exercise you will get potentiation for strength exercise and you can uh, recover by performing some kind of endurance work to bringing some uh, blood into the work region and training the lip loads. This is very optimal. Also you can go for hypertrophy power and strength or hypertrophy endurance and hypertrophy. The choice of loading and volume is depend uh, dependent upon the ability need to be trained. In this case if he doesn't need any endurance period or hypertrophy you can just switch the rep ranges for example 4 into 3, 4 into 4. Always keep in consideration that intensity cause injuries, not the volume. So when in doubt, go on lower end. Weekly, as the name indicates, instead of daily changing the reps and sets, that is volume and load, you are changing it for week. For example, week 1 you are doing 4 into 8 for hypertrophy. Week 2 you are doing the power phase of 3 into 5. Week 3 you are doing an endurance phase and finally week 4, 4 into 5 first time. Bi-weekly, as the name indicates, we are doing the same weekly progression but for two weeks. It's as simple as that, don't complicate the periodization model. These are best, uh, just uh, principles you need to apply based on the client's needs.